everybody, welcome to Chubbox Rears. I'm staying with my lovely wife, Tanya, here again, and we just got out of seeing Morbius. Uh, we got an events kind of screening with uh, event cinemas and... Nice, um, and, yeah. Yeah, Sony was nice enough to forward that to Australia and let us um, all get to see it before a lot of the rest of the world <laughs> next week. So um, if you're watching this now, it's we, this is seven days earlier. So mm -hmm. pretty much... Um, yeah, we just got out to see it. We're going to do a little spoilers free first and then we'll bounce into a uh, spoilers. But all in all, like all the stuff we were hearing about, like, oh, it's it's falls apart. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's not really that good. I really like this. I think I that was such a misleading kind of yeah. rumor that was going around saying, oh, Morbius is like not the critics aren't happy with it. And I'm just like. You know Why? what? Yeah. I, I honestly think there's a lot of them out there that are either being like, oh, there's not enough representation. Oh, there's not enough of this or that. They yeah. haven't put any activism in it. Whatever. Okay. This this was fun to watch. and It was a comic book movie. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the thing. I, I don't think we can lean on that and be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, comic book movie and stuff. I think we can just say like... This was an experiment with a, you know, property that hasn't, like, I think for me, if you went back in time and put this like 25 years ago with right next to Blade, you'd be like, oh yeah, this is badass. This is mm. really awesome. Because there is horror elements yeah. that I really was like jumping out like, oh man. And just... The effects, everything, the sound, music, even Jared Leto was like great, like portraying that sort of like way different, I wouldn't say hero, but definitely anti-hero and stuff. Because this is like, for me, when I was watching Venom, I was like, okay, so they can't reference Spider-Man or do anything like this mm -hmm. or that. How is this going to work? And they made it work in that first Venom movie. Second one got a little bit too Yeah, they kind of went a bit crazy stuff. with that like, one. Yeah. So, pretty much, um, what did you think of, like, you know, cast-wise and kind of pacing and everything? Yeah, well, first off, damn, loved this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Thought it was really good. I went in with, like, low to zero expectations. Came out very much surprised. Very, very happy. Um, the casting-wise, I thought they did a great job. Um, you've got uh, all the characters uh, for the leads uh, were well utilized um, from what I can remember researching about the Morbius characters it stayed fairly true I, I believe like you still have obviously uh, from comic books to screen it's going to different uh, get a bit different um, but yeah I really enjoyed it I, I thought like you said the music the the atmosphere the the pacing was good um, if put it this way, if you haven't seen it, yes, this is spoiler free, like, and this doesn't spoil it, but if you've seen things where, like, I've experienced it, when you look at this mm. in terms of, like, this movie is about, like, addiction, more mm. or less. So you can go into this and be, like, kind of, oh, so this is from the perspective of someone that craves like you know not wanting to break like boundaries and go you know across the line and, and hurt people and mm. stuff like that so this is like when you watch blade and you go oh so he's got to suppress that side of him and stuff with this one yeah. it's just like a constant battle but it's also too it's like man i set out to do something good you could and almost say angel-esque from buffy yeah, a little bit of that element the in there. The moral compass of Angel. Um, they still tie it in, I think, nicely into the Marvel element of like, well, you know, it's not one of those, oh, sunlight kills me or anything mm. like that. It's just kind of like, no, there's a science to it. They they ground it in like, well, this is what happens and this is how we um, get this whole kind of journey to go on. I think Jared Leto embodied it really well. Yeah, he did a pretty, really good job. It was really kind of strange for me because What's I was that going. What's actor's name? Um, he played. He was one of the doctors. He was, yeah, he was. And he was also in. Um, I think it's. The Crown. Yeah, the Crown as. Uh, Prince Philip. Yeah, Philip. 
But um, yeah, he's in this. He did a great job uh, without spoiling it. But yeah, the lovely young lady did an awesome job as well. I yeah, thought she brought a lot of heart and emotion to it. She was cool. Um, but like, other than that, because you do have um, Tyrese Gibson in it, and oh, yeah, he yeah. doesn't he doesn't do <laughs> doesn't, too much. Doesn't do too much at all. It's just it's more or less like if you could have an extended cameo, where it's just cameo, 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 cameo. He doesn't really do too much apart from like, yeah, just don't don't blink anytime <laughs> he's got a scene because it's just sort of like, eh. like you could have edited him out of it and it wouldn't have changed the movie in my opinion at all. Mm. But also too, there was like one scene that was necessary to have him and like, Well, you, you were know. pretty excited about his character because you, you were telling me um, some stuff about his character. Well, so. he's... he's Because um, people have already spotted it in the trailer and stuff as mm. well. Like, And when he was listed, he's um, one of the cops um, that has a binic arm or something like that. But they don't really go into it too much. They don't... It's not too crowded, this movie. Yeah, like, for me, Venom 2 was crowded. Yeah. It should have just been solely those two, but then they wanted to do like a love interest thing, and then they wanted the, to do yeah, this, editing characters that. that throwaways, and it was just a bit pointless. But this one is grounded with the characters; they set them up um, and utilize them really well. And they don't kind of beat you over the head with like, "Oh, shared universe! Oh, look at this! Look at yeah, this! No. Look at this!" But there is like some element there of like, "Yeah, this is you know where you Sony's, are. You're in a Marvel. yeah property. Yeah, yeah. It's it's what Sony owns mm. over um, in their division of yeah. Marvel and stuff, what they've acquired. But um yeah, so if you haven't seen it, go see it because we're uh, we're about to get into spoilers. Like next up is spoilers. Spoilers 